off the top tonight, the Department of Justice has filed a landmark lawsuit against Apple, claiming they have monopolized the smartphone market for years. 16 states joined the antitrust action, including Washington, D.C. Prosecutors say Apple's anti-competitive behavior has driven up prices for American consumers. The price of the latest iPhone, by the way, will run you $1,000. DOJ says Apple did several things to box out competitors, including making the quality of cross-platform messaging worse, a.k.a. green bubbles. It'll be a long time until this suit gets settled or maybe goes to trial, but this two-year-old skit from SNL might be on the list of evidence to show to a jury. Google is claiming that Apple's practice of using blue bubbles in their iMessage app to highlight other Apple users leads to peer pressure and bullying of Android users. <laughs> While Apple says Android users could easily solve the problem by not being so dumb and poor. According to the complaint, in 2022, Apple's CEO Tim Cook was asked whether Apple would fix the iPhone to Android messaging. Quote, not to make it personal, but I can't send my mom certain videos, a questioner said. And Mr. Cook's response, buy your mom an iPhone. Fox 5 reached out to Apple for comment, but has not yet heard back. Meantime, another major American company having a tough week. You may have seen the headlines about Boeing recently after multiple planes reportedly had issues since the start of the year. You may recall that terrifying January incident on Alaska Airlines flight where the Boeing 737 MAX 9 lost its rear door plug in midair. The National Transportation Safety Board said Boeing is not sharing key information about what led to that incident. Now a group of passengers from that flight are suing the company. It's the failure to, uh, you know, build these aircraft, to maintain the aircraft uh, in a responsible way, putting people's lives in danger. It's something that needs to, uh, we need to focus on the procedures that they were going through, make sure they're following them, uh, and we need to yeah. keep people safe. Meantime, a former Boeing quality control manager who filed a whistleblower complaint against the company was found dead in his truck while in the middle of a deposition testifying about his time at Boeing. The Charleston, South Carolina coroner says that John Barnett died from what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was accusing the company of retaliating against him for raising safety concerns. Barnett's lawyers told Live 5 News in Charleston this week that the lawsuit against the company will continue despite Barnett's death, that they'll push the the case forward on behalf of Barnett's estate.